What's up everybody, it's Investing Sensei bringing you another episode in the series of how many shares of a certain company do you need to own to make $1,000 a month, uh, $100 a month, and even $100 a week. Uh, so in these episodes, I do pull up the calculator. Well, first of all, we'll go over the company, look at the uh, ticker symbol, read a little bit about the company profile then we'll look at the charts on performance wise and then look at the dividend scorecard on seeking alpha and then we'll pull up the calculator and crunch some numbers so that we can see how much uh how many shares and how much in total would you have to have invested to achieve those goals and then we'll wrap it up with the dividend yield so we can see uh, when the best opportunity was to buy this company or if it currently is at the current moment uh, but the one on the list guys for this one is actually BAC which is Bank of America one of the companies that used to be in my dividend growth portfolio definitely love this company uh, but let's go ahead and jump over to the seeking alpha so you'll see BAC it's a Bank of America corporation currently trading about $33.92 if we actually pull up the company profile for them, we can read a little bit about them. So uh, Bank of America Corporation uh, through its subsidiaries provides banking and financial products and services for individual consumers, small and middle market businesses, institutional investors, large corporations and governments uh, worldwide. Its consumer banking segment offers traditional and money, money market savings accounts, uh, cert certificates of deposit and IRAs non-interest in interest bearing checking accounts and uh, investment accounts and products and uh, credit and debit cards residential mortgages and uh, home equity loans as well as direct and indirect loans such as automotive rec recreational vehicle and consumer personal loans uh, so I do have one of their credit cards for Bank of America just uh, for uh, the type of cashback that they do offer uh, I use it for the 3% cashback, uh, any category you select, uh, but they are in the sector of financials here. Industry is in diversified banks. Uh, current employees is 217,000. Uh, they were founded in 9 1784, so that's quite a long time, guys. If you want to see a little bit more about the company, you can go to bankofamerica.com and uh, just read a little bit about them more. But that is the company profile. Let me show you guys here the uh, actual charts here. So for the year to date so far, uh, Bank of America is actually up by 1.22% in the green. If we look at the one year overall, they are down 20.13%. If we look at the five year they are up 7.24 percent and then on the 10 year they are up 181.03 percent which is pretty awesome there on the total since they've uh, been publicly traded uh, they uh, actually are up 26.50 percent which is not a lot there for us and the performance wise you'll see back in uh, 2020 uh, not 2020 but 20 uh, 2006 and 2008 right around the great uh, uh, recession uh, they were around the $50 mark and then they just tanked after that and they've been slowly recovering uh, so that is such a cool, huge loss in capital appreciation if you look at the 52 week range for us here you'll see that uh, 52 week low has been $29.31 52 week high has actually been uh, $44.63. Uh, it's actually trading right around the center, uh, closer to the 52 week low. If we look at the EPS, it is at 3.43, PE is 9.99, and then uh, dividend rate is 88 cents. Uh, yield is actually 2.57%. And then the market cap for this is 274.53 billion market cap for Bank of America. If I show you guys here the dividend uh, scorecard and I actually scroll down again, they are in the financial sector. We can go over the dividend summary. So if we look at the dividend yield, uh, you will see that they do have a dividend yield of 2.57% which is typically a pretty healthy dividend yield within my companies i typically try to get a two to maybe three to four percent dividend yield mostly around two percent because that typically means they have a very very nice five-year kager uh, if we look at the annual payout they do pay out 88 cents so for every share you do own you would get 88 cents 
uh, per share for the year. Payout ratio is actually very, very low, which is 26.96, meaning that they do have plenty of room to grow that dividend over time. And then the five-year Kaker is 17.14%, which is very awesome. It's a double-digit five-year Kaker, which is the type of companies that I look forward to. Uh, dividend growth shows nine years, and then uh, they do pay out quarterly, which they would pay out 22 cents for every, I guess every three months, you would get 22 cents per every share that you do own. Uh, so awesome company here. I do own JP Morgan instead for them, uh, but I did used to own Bank of America. Let me pull up the calculator here, guys, and we can crunch some numbers uh, just to actually find out how much you'd have to have in this company to uh, make $1,000 a month and then uh, $100 a month and also $100 a week. So let's go ahead and get started. So we want to make uh, $1,000 a month. Uh, so there is um, $1,000 a month uh, right here. Uh, we want to multiply it times 12 because there's 12 months in a year. Uh, so total annually, we need to make $12,000 and that would roughly get us about $1,000 every single month. You'll actually take out the 12,000 divided by the annual payout, uh, which this would actually give you the total number of shares that you'd have to own to achieve that. So uh, 13,636 shares is what you'd have to own. Uh, if we actually multiply this total number of shares times the current share price, which is $33.92, this gives us the total amount of money we would have to actually purchase right now and we would be roughly making about a thousand dollars a month uh, which is actually quite a bit four hundred sixty two thousand dollars almost four hundred sixty three thousand dollars invested in bank of america and uh, that's quite a bit of money but uh again if you are invested for the long term and you've been uh you know dollar cost averaging dripping the dividends this would actually require a lot less capital it just requires a lot more time uh, to compound and eventually get to that goal but uh, one of the quick ways you could actually uh, figure this out is take the 12,000 you need, you need to make annually and divided by the dividend yield, which is uh, 0 0.0257, which is the 2%. Uh, so you'll see we roughly get about $466,000 there. Uh, let's get, go ahead and do the next one, which is how much would you have to own in, of this company to make $100 every uh, single month? Uh, you can actually take the previous answer and divide it by 10, but since we do have the calculator, we will go ahead and crunch those numbers just for anybody that is interested in this. So $100 every single month, 12 months in a year. So total, we need to make $1,200 annually, and that would give us roughly the $100 a month divide this by the annual payout so that we can actually get the uh, total number of shares we need to own which is roughly about 1363 shares and then uh, you could just multiply this times the current share price which is $33.92 and uh, you'll see that that comes out to be about $46,254 invested in this company and you would be roughly making $100 every single month pretty cool there uh, the next one here guys or i guess the quick way to calculate this is take the 1200 divided by the dividend yield which is uh, 257 and you'll see we get roughly about forty six thousand dollars almost forty seven thousand uh, dollars so that's the quick way to do that let's go ahead and do the last one which is uh how much would you have to have invested to make one hundred dollars every single week i think this one would actually be really nice imagine one hundred dollars every single week for uh stuff that you need to actually purchase uh, in my in my um, my think I would probably be reinvesting those one hundred dollars every single week uh, to uh, try to compound it even more. But uh, yeah, you want to make one hundred dollars every single week. There's fifty two weeks in a year, so uh, you multiply it. So total, we'd need to make five thousand two hundred annually divided by the annual payout. Uh, this would give you the total number of shares you need, which comes out to be five thousand nine hundred and nine shares. Uh, to achieve this, uh, multiply it times the current share price, which is $33.92. And uh, you'll see we roughly need to have about $200,436 invested in this company. And we would be roughly making about uh, $100 every single week. And a uh, quick way to calculate this is take the 5200 divided by the dividend yield. And uh, you'll see we roughly get about $202,000. Uh, so that is how you calculate, uh, you know, the amount that you want to make for uh, this company. Uh, 
same math applies for any other one but uh, let me know in the comment section if you own bank of america are you a long-term shareholder for this how long have you been investing how much do you actually drip right now for them and uh do you own any other bank companies and uh, as well if there's one on the list or just a company in general you want me to cover that i haven't covered in the past or you don't see it on the list let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to add it uh, but let's go ahead and wrap up this video by looking at the dividend yield for this company all right guys so if we look at the dividend yield here you'll see that this number is the dividend yield for bank of america it goes up to uh, five years in the past so you'll see that's around 2018 it was around a 1.5 percent dividend yield or so it's fluctuating between that and then around 2020 march crash everything spiked in general all the companies i see this one was almost a 3.8 2 uh, percent starting dividend yield and then uh, over time it actually went down that is probably because the price of bank of america did go up and uh, slowly the company's dividend yield has been going down again uh, and uh, you'll see it's been fluctuating at two percent to 2.5 percent uh, for uh, bank of america so right now potentially could be a good starting position for this uh, because it is one of the higher uh, starting dividend yields for Bank of America in the past five years. Uh, again, let me know in the comment section if you own Bank of America. Uh, don't forget to subscribe with that bell notification. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers, so definitely help me out as well. Drop a big thumbs up on the video to help support the channel. That is all I ask in return. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.